Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how we can create connected galleries in Power Apps. Various use cases require us to create connections or relations between tables in our data source. I'll show how we can take advantage of those relationships, connect galleries, create nested galleries, horizontal or vertical, and more. So let's check it out in action. In this scenario, the data source is SharePoint. Two lists that are connected with each other via a lookup column. So the user can select an item in the main list and that will in turn filter the related list. The main list contains columns to track content scheduling information. The related list is where I track the tasks related to the content that's being scheduled in the main list. And the way the two lists are connected is via a column type in SharePoint, which is of type lookup. So if I was to create a new task, the lookup column allows me to pick the main content that I would like to associate this task with. I'll connect it to this item and click save. So I have a new task that's added. And creation of a lookup column is very simple. We add the column of type lookup, click next, select the list that we would like to look up to, and then select which column from the main list would you like this association to be referenced with. My lookup column is referencing the title column to create the connected galleries in my Power App, I need to ensure that I add a connection to both those lists. I will first insert a gallery to show the data from my main list, which is my content list. And then I will add another gallery to show data from my tasks list. And to highlight which current item the user has selected in my main gallery, the gallery has a property called template fill. I will use if this item dot is selected. In that case, I will give it a background color. For this scenario, I'll just pick color dot medium purple. If it's not selected, I'll just let the standard fill property take effect. So now we can see how it highlights the selected item in my main gallery. Now for the selected item, I would like to show its related tasks. For my tasks gallery, I will leverage the filter function. Filter tasks list where my related column called content which is of type lookup dot, I'll point to the value of that lookup column, which in my scenario would be the title from the main list. And that I will get from my main gallery, which I have renamed to gal main content. My main gallery dot selected title. So if I was to preview my app, the moment I make a selection on my main list, it will filter the connected gallery to only showcase the related tasks. For scenarios where there are no related tasks, I can always display a message that states there are no related tasks. And for this label, I will set its visibility to count rows of my related tasks gallery dot all items. If this is equal to zero, meaning there are no related tasks, then make the label control visible. In this scenario, 
I have an invoices document library where documents are uploaded and metadata is maintained. For each invoice, there could be multiple invoice items. So I have a connected list where I track the invoice items for that specific invoice document. This is my document library. And to this library, I have a connected list. Once again, the connection is done through the lookup column that looks up to the document library of invoices. I am associating it with the ID column of my document library, which is a number type column. Invoices document library and invoices items list connected in my Power App. I'll add a gallery, connect this to the invoices document library. You can pick from a wide variety of layout types that galleries provide. In this scenario, I'll pick title, subtitle and overlay. I can even decide how many documents I would like to show in a single row by changing the wrap count. The image controls image property. I will leverage this item dot thumbnail. This gets generated in SharePoint automatically for each document. So I'll pick the large size of the thumbnail. For the title label control, I will show the customer name. That's a column in my document library. And for the subtitle label control, I will show the invoice number. To highlight which item is selected, I have this overlay shape. It's fill property. I will change this. If this item dot is selected color dot medium purple else I'll plug in that original color. So we can see the moment I select a specific document, it will highlight that. Now to show the related invoices, I will insert a gallery connected to invoice items. I have the title of the invoice item, the quantity, I'll concatenate it with the text quantity. For the body label control, I will show total. I'll call it cost. I will also insert an emoji to highlight the fact that the cost is in dollars. So for invoice items gallery, the items property will be filter invoice items where my lookup column called invoice invoice dot value which will be that id is equal to my main gallery dot selected dot id as the lookup is being performed on that column now id is a column of type number so i get that delegation warning which says the types are incompatible for the comparison one's a text one's a number so i will make sure i type cost this by leveraging the text function so now we can see that the invoice items are being related or connected to the selection that i make in the invoice documents gallery to get the total cost I already have the formula defined that gets me the related items for the main invoice document. I have copied that. I will use the sum function on that filter condition that I just copied, comma. I need to multiply the quantity and the cost of each item. So I will pick quantity multiplied by the total column which has the cost. So if I preview the app now, I can see the total cost for this specific invoice. And if I select a different invoice, a scenario around expense tracking, where we have expenses and expense items. Here I have leveraged Dataverse as the data source. I have a table called expenses that tracks all the details about an expense that the user is requesting. 
in here i have created a true relationship to two other tables cost center which defines the cost center for the expense that the user is adding and this also has the information of the related approvers for the incoming expense record so the expenses table is related to the cost center table in a many to one relationship an expense can have multiple line items which is a one to many relationship and in the line items table is where the user can define the items related to the expense the category the cost and that is what is represented here in the form of these connected galleries i have made a connection to the expenses table the cost centers table and the line items table my main gallery is connected to my expenses table and for my related gallery dataverse is truly a relational database here all i literally had to do was point to the associated relationship which in my case is line items and this returns the records that are related with this main expense item to show the total cost point to that relationship for my selected item in my main gallery of expenses and from there i performed the action sum on my column cost that's how i get the total amount we also have the option of nesting galleries my main gallery is straight out connected to my expenses table my nested gallery point to the relationship which is line items and this same experience we can take it one step ahead by leveraging a flexible height gallery the height of the main gallery item changes depending upon how many related items it has i'll start with a flexible height gallery i will change its layout to blank the items property for this gallery would be my expenses table i will edit the gallery and add a few label controls to show the column information for the records in the gallery so showcase the name of the expense show the date submitted can be formatted we can add emojis and a lot more i will also showcase the cost center which is that related table so from there show me the name of the cost center and this one i'll just position it right below the title i will also insert a rectangle shape that i will expand its width now notice the moment i preview the app you can see how the height of the template item is adjusted accordingly now in this i would like to show the line items related table information once again i'll edit this gallery insert a vertical gallery i will position it to begin right below this label that highlights the cost center for the items property of my nested gallery this item dot the relationship which is my line items table for the title label control i will show the name of the line item and for the subtitle i will show the cost now if i was to preview the app observe how the gallery items in my nested gallery is having its own scroll bar experience for the nested gallery we have a property called height now this is hard coded this i would like to change the nested gallery has a property called template size and this template size let's say i set it to 100 now for the height property of this nested gallery we will set this to count rows of this item dot line items 
just that relationship. So get me the count of those items and multiply it by 100. Now, if I preview the app, observe how the scroll bar effect in that nested gallery no longer exists. For the nested gallery, I will simply remove the separator experience, my main gallery. In here, I have this separator. Now, this separator, I would like it to sit below my nested gallery. So, for the Y property of this separator, I will leverage my nested gallery dot Y plus nested gallery dot height. So, now if I preview, you will note how it gives the expense details followed by the expense items. Then comes the separator. So, it's the next item expense details, expense items. We can sprinkle UI updates to represent the gallery in this specific format. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.